I love maths. <laughs> maths is fun. <laughs> I said that at a party last week and they nearly asked me to leave. <laughs> it is not so common to hear people gushing about maths, right? Something that I hear far more often is, I was always terrible at maths, or I always hated maths, which seems strange to me. We don't normally celebrate the things that we weren't good at, or the things that we didn't like. I was always terrible at reading. I don't really hear that. Or I really struggled to learn to speak or write. So why is it okay for us to say that about maths? Why do we openly volunteer that? Sometimes I hear, yeah, but maths is hard. But was it easy to learn to read or write or speak? Did we all relish in the thought of some punctuation and grammar? <laughs> to do anything requires patience and discipline. All those hours of piano practice. We do that, we encourage it. So why is it different for maths? Maybe it's not about it being hard. Maybe it's something else. Maybe we think that it's not important. Well, I think maths is incredibly important. And when people say things like, when am I ever going to use trigonometry in the real world? I like to challenge that. I think that maths is everywhere around us. I think that maths is the language of life. Four out of five people in the UK have a low level of numeracy. I'm not talking Einstein level maths here. I'm talking about the ability to make a sound choice in the supermarket. If you have a low level of numeracy, the data shows us that you are twice as likely to be unemployed. And even if you get a job, you will earn less money. The problem is estimated to cost 17 billion pounds every single year. I'm sensing that's not enough for maths to be the language of life. OK, yeah, I could have worked a bit harder at my maths, but maybe I'd be a bit wealthier. OK, so what, what if I told you that there is also a link between numeracy levels and our health and well-being and the crime in the country? So data from the British cohort studies shows that there is a direct correlation between low levels of numeracy and depression. So maths could help our mental health. 25% of people, young people in custody, have a numeracy level below that expected of a seven-year-old. So our society would be safer if we had stronger numeracy skills. So let's say you agree that working a bit harder at our maths could contribute to a healthier, wealthier, safer society. There is something else about maths that I think most people don't realize. I think most people maybe wouldn't even believe. What I really want to share with everyone today is how maths is in everything. Maths is in all of the things that we love and engage with every single day. We just don't see it. I often describe myself as a mathematician who loves art and music and sport and language, poetry. And people say, you can't like all of the completely different things. But for me, I have always seen where maths is in all of those things. And so for me, that is the very thing that makes maths so exciting. It is everywhere. If I give you an example, Music. Core concepts in music, form, meter, rhythm, the pitch of notes. For musicians out there, you will all know 
that they're all related to the measurement of time, frequency, wavelength, otherwise known as geometry. <laughs> and sport, in sport, I'm a big rugby fan. And when I watch rugby matches and I see the out half stepping up to take a kick at goal, I just see, you know, yes, he's all ready. He needs to kick the ball a certain distance long, a certain distance high, at a certain angle to get it over the bar. Every time I think, trigonometry. <laughs> it, trigonometry is all about triangles. Trigonometry simply describes the relationship between the sides and the angles of a triangle. So why are we so scared of geometry and trigonometry? They're just words. My favorite one is the relationship between maths and art. So if you're not familiar in artistic composition, there are a number of guiding rules that help artists to create something beautiful or photographers. And it's often described by the rule of thirds or the golden ratio, some of you may have heard of. But all of these things are a derivation of one fundamental mathematical sequence called the Fibonacci sequence. And that sequence can be drawn in a spiral shape. So that when you look at a picture, there is normally a focal point in the picture which captures your eye. It's often the face in a portrait, it's often the face of the person. And in the spiral, if you put a Fibonacci spiral onto that picture, that is the center of the spiral. And an artist will create a picture such that there is a huge area of the picture that is plain and expanse, because that is the majority of the spiral. And then an area of detail. That is no accident. That is designed in such a way that your eye will respond to it and you will appreciate the beauty in the picture. It's the same with photography. Beauty is no accident. Beauty is a function of shape and symmetry, core mathematical concepts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I love math, our language of life. But for more people to appreciate it and for more people to have a more positive attitude so that we can really drive change, we need to look for it. So I urge you to listen for the rhythm in music, hear that and acknowledge that that is a measurement of sorts. Look for the triangles in the world, in sport, in whatever you're doing. Every time you see a triangle, that is trigonometry. Don't be afraid of the words used just because it is an old um, framework for describing things. It is just words. And help us all to strive toward a healthier, wealthier, safer society. Let's move to a world where everybody can make a sound decision in the supermarket. But we can do it by having some fun. It is quite a lot of fun to play with these things and to challenge ourselves. Changing anything requires an open mind and a willingness to learn. So the next time that you hear somebody saying, I always hated maths. I urge you to challenge those people and say, no, you cannot have hated maths because you cannot hate everything. <laughs> and maths is in everything. Yes. Well, thank you.